Well, who owns the word Duval? The Jaguars or the fans? Last month, the team started adding a trademark logo to the phrase on social media, leading to a backlash from some First Coast fans. First Coast News reporter Eric Alvarez breaks down the trademark troubles for us. The letters D U U U V A L spell trouble for any team that dares come in here to Saxonville. But these two tiny little letters at the end are spelling trouble for some here on the First Coast. To try to profit off it, it just isn't, it isn't right. Jacksonville roller derby skater Katie Dowling says fans have been chanting Duval at their bouts for over 10 years. It's something for the entire city to come together instead of just one region or one team or one sport. On February 12th, the Jaguars tweeted this image with the trademark logo after Duval spelled with three U's. The organization says the Jaguars have not submitted an application to register the word mark Duval. Trademark lawyer Ash Najafi says you don't need to submit a formal application to call Duval dibs. As long as you've done due diligence and you've done a trademark clearance search and you're sure no one else is using that mark, Yes, you can put a TM. That puts the public on notice that you're claiming ownership. The chant first became famous through DJ Easy E. And that's the drop I've been using for years. Attorney John Phillips says he sent letters to the Jags asking the organization to drop the word mark on behalf of the DJ and Jacksonville Roller Derby. It's something that belongs to the people. The Jags organization says even if it were to seek trademark registration, getting it would not keep fans from saying or using the word Duval in general. What that means if you were to say or use it with three U's, one A and one L, well, that's still up in the air. Eric Alvarez, First Coast News. on.